This exercise is called retraction extension with thoracic extension. This is a McKenzie method exercise that's a part of a full assessment and um, it's a progression of doing the retraction extension or chin tuck look back. And to do this, we, the best way to do it is with a chair. So uh, what you do is you find a low back chair if you have one. If you don't, it's higher. You can always sit on a stack of books or something else. But what we'll do is slide down, and typically it's about mid shoulder blade area. For some people, depending on the assessment from your clinician, it could be a little higher, a little bit lower, but we'll stick with mid shoulder blade. So the retraction extension move is the chin tuck, look back. Now to add in the mid back or thoracic spine component, what we do is we take the hands and put them over the ears like earmuffs. Now we'll remove one hand so you can see, and we'll do chin tuck, then lift the elbows, and then drop the head and give a little wiggle here and breathe out. Good. That's to get to full end range. Now if there's a little pain there, just tuck, lift the elbows, go back, and if it hurts, ooh, just kiss the pain and come back. This is typically performed in repetitions of 10, about five sets a day or 10 times every three to four hours, but in guidance with your clinician. So to go over it again, what it looks like in real time is tuck, lift, drop, wiggle. Tuck, lift, drop, wiggle. All right. Now doing this for a while, we found that not everybody has a low back chair around. So there's a couple convenient options we can go with. One, if you have a higher back chair and you use a ball, use a ball as a fulcrum, you can put it on your high back chair and it would go in that same spot here and it gives you that space to have room to move your head back. So using a ball or a block would work. Um, another what way you can, what you can do is, Mitch, follow me. So an alternative you can use is the foam roller or even the armrest of your couch, as long as it's rounded like this. So imagine that this table is a couch and this is the armrest, right? What you can do is bring your legs up on the couch and you basically rest that same spot like we went over in the chair on the couch armrest. Same thing, support your head, earmuffs, elbows forward, tuck, lift, drop, wiggle, 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 right? Or you can do it in a foam roller, obviously, right? The only key difference is here, when you're on the foam roller or arm, couch armrest versus the chair, you have to think about keeping your ribs down because what happens is if you willy-nilly just go over this, what I'm really doing right now is arching my low back and you can see my ribs here are flared up. We don't want that because you're not getting into the mid back and the neck enough. So you wanna think about keeping your ribs packed down or like using your abs to keep connected here. And then I'll do the tuck, lift, drop. And you can see how far I am right now by keeping my ribs down. If I let my ribs go, I'm doing that. So if you're hitting your head on the ground in the back, well, if you're on a couch, arm, you can't do that. But if you're hitting your head's dropping way down, we're, we're lifting the ribs for sure. So just check that your ribs stay down and they stay there as you go over in the back. You'll definitely feel it because when you keep the ribs down and do this, you'll feel a lot of pressure in your mid-back, similar to what you felt on the chair.